before we get to his debut, which most will remember was September 22nd on Monday Nitro. It was back at Salt Lake City. Uh, let's kind of set the stage. And uh, you may be familiar with some of this, Tony. I know you grew up. Uh, you're actually sporting a Georgia sweatshirt today. And, and famously, that's where Goldberg played his college ball before being drafted by the Rams in the 11th round in 90. Uh, and he played there in 90 and then had a brief Canadian Football League stint with the Sacramento Gold Miners. Uh, before finding home with the Atlanta Falcons. He played there from 92 to 94 and then was cut in 95. Uh, The NFL held an expansion draft that year that a lot of football fans will remember for the Jaguars and the Panthers. So the Panthers picked him up, uh, but Bill would not ever actually play for Carolina and famously became, here's a little trivia note for you, the first player ever cut by the Panthers. Um, It's worth mentioning here that he had a pretty severe ab injury that cut his football career short. Uh, so Tony, do you remember him playing football at all, whether it was Georgia or with the Falcons? I don't remember the Falcons. I, I remember uh, Georgia. Uh, I was not a, a big Georgia fan or involved with the school back then, obviously, like, like I am now because I, I was working for WCW, but I remember, uh, that he was a pretty big badass uh, on the Georgia defense on some kind of mediocre teams. Uh, I also remember that Vince Dooley's last game in the Gator Bowl, uh, which I believe was maybe 89, 90, around that era, that Goldberg uh, was unable to play because he was suspended in that game. Wow, I didn't know uh, that. And uh, I don't know what the suspension was about. You know, there, there there's so many so many rules in college football. I don't know if he got in trouble. Sure. I mean, I think that's what it had. He, he got in trouble. What he got in trouble with, I don't know. But, uh, you know, he often used to bring up to me, he used to go, Shivani, let me, can I tell you the time when we played the Florida Gators? And uh, I said, uh, no, Bill, I know all about your football history. I understand. But uh, he was a, he came out of football. as a pretty tough son of a bitch. There's a, there's a story. I don't know if you heard this story, Conrad. And I think it's a, it's a pretty darn good story that when he was with the Falcons, he used to challenge the Falcons in the locker room, the players to wrestle. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. And, uh, the, and somebody was talking to Bill Fralick one time because, you know, Fralick did some things in wrestling. And uh, I, wasn't Fralick in one of the uh, WrestleManias, like WrestleMania 2 or something like that, a part of it? Yeah, he may have, he may have had an involvement there. Right. Uh, he used to challenge guys to wrestle, and someone had said to Fralick, well, you know, you're involved in, you've been involved in wrestling. Uh, why, don't you, uh, why don't you wrestle him? And Fralick's response was, not me, that motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> that is that's phenomenal. What, that's what that's what type of guy he was. I mean, Goldberg legitimately was a was a guy that was pretty darn tough, and I think that came across on the air. Uh, and uh, you know, he, he he would shake off injuries and shake off bumps and bruises, and uh, just do things that were pretty nuts. And and I think that's why he came across that way. It was pretty legit, at least. It came across to me that way. When did you first hear of Goldberg possibly being interested in pursuing wrestling? Do you recall? Uh, no, I don't recall that. But I, I do recall him being in the power plant. Uh, but uh, but I don't recall when he was first interested in wrestling. Uh, I mean, but- I, I knew who Bill Goldberg was, but it wasn't like, oh, boy, Bill Goldberg is, uh, is this guy who's uh, this big former pro football player wants to get into wrestling. I, I That kind of went past me. 